Okay. So, change of scenery for this review. I'm in my bedroom now instead of my uh, living room. And I saw this movie, um, I think a week or, a week or two ago. Or, um, yeah, about one or two weeks ago. And it was, so, you know, after torturing myself with a really shitty movie that goes by the name of Skyline, I thought it was only fair if I treated myself to what potentially could be an okay movie. Like, I didn't really expect this movie to be any good. I just expected it to be either okay or just really bad. And, well, uh, the movie I'm talking about, by the way, is Let Me In. Because um, I'm going to be reviewing Let the Right One In and Let Me In. I guess I might compare them a bit. And, well, yeah. Because um, uh, I watched Let the Right One In quite a while back. Um, I think a month ago, maybe two months ago, on DVD. Then I caught Let Me In on uh, TV one or two weeks ago, like I just said. And, uh, well, yeah. Let, let the Right One In. Yeah, let the right one. In. For those of you who don't know, let the right one in is a Swedish. Uh, it's a Swedish film, and uh, uh, then the, the the American remake came out some time after. So, for the American remake, for some reason, they decided to t uh, shorten the title from "Let the Right One In" to "Let Me In." So, uh, you know, I'm gonna be referring to. I'll just call the remake the remake and the original the original. Saves me having to say the title since the titles. A bit long to say, I guess. Anyway, for those of you who don't know, the movie is about... I don't want to compare it to... Well, I... I well, I, I don't want to compare it to... Well, okay, whatever. It's kind of like Twilight, I guess you could say. Everybody knows the, the story of Twilight. I guess it's kind of like that. I'm not sure if I'm going to get bashed for, for saying that, but the story, the, the plot... Well, the basic story is kind of like that. It's just like a romance between... A romance between uh, these two characters, you know... So, um, this kid, he's bullied, it's basically, I, I don't know the character's name, but there's this little kid, he's like 10 years old or 12 or whatever, he's bullied in school, whatever, he, you know, and then this girl moves in next door, this uh, little girl, same age as him, and she's a vampire, and yeah, basically the story just goes off from there, like, you know, they've, the, the two, um, you know, the boy and the girl, the vampire and the human, they like form like a, you know, a friendship, together and it just you know it's it goes off from the the remake the plot uh, for the remake is it, it's exactly the same so there's no need for me to recap on that one but yeah and I'm not saying like Twilight was the first film to do by the way yeah by the way I'm not saying that Twilight was the first film to do to do a romance between a vampire and a human I'm pretty sure it wasn't I haven't seen much vampire films I'm not a fan of like vampires in general I don't I just don't think vampire films are too entertaining not that I've seen much so I'm I'm pretty sure the Twilight wasn't the first film to do a romance between a human and a vampire. But I'm just saying, you know, I'm just using that as an example to compare. Well, I'm not comparing. I'm just saying they're kind of similar. That's all I'm saying. Okay, but okay. So about the movie, uh, what? Okay, hold on. I've got like a little piece of paper by you with a few notes. Okay, okay. Hmm. Okay. So the film, uh, the acting was, you know, fine. Um, I mean, for kid actors, well, they weren't really, they're not really kids, they're like 12 years old, but yeah, they did fine jobs, you know. I will say, um, what I thought about the, I did like, ultimately, I did like both versions, but I felt as if the remake was pretty pointless anyway. I mean, it wasn't as pointless as uh, the Funny Games remake, which was, um, right, okay, so the Funny uh, funny Games is like, I, I don't know if you whether or not you've seen it or not, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. But for those of you who haven't seen it, the original so there's the original film, then the remake film. Basically the remake of Funny Games is identical to the original, which most remakes are. But the thing is, it's it's shot. It's it's a shot by shot. It's a shot by shot remake, so every single shot is exactly the same, so it's just an it's a completely pointless film. On the other hand, with uh, the original and remake of Let the Right One In. It's not a shot, but like you know, it's just like most other remakes. The plot points are exactly the same. So you know, you have the kid being bullied at school. Uh, the girl moves in next door. I think she was called Abby. I'm not quite sure, but um, yeah. So you know, the plot points are exactly the same. You have the hospital. I'm not trying. To, you know, I'm not going to spoil anything here. But we have the hospital scene. What happens in that scene is exactly the same in both versions. Uh, yeah, you know, 
you have the well you know the main uh, plot points are exactly the same but how we get to these plot points is kind of different in both movies uh, I'm gonna quickly like describe the first scene uh, the first kill scene uh, this isn't spoilers this happens in like the first 15 minutes but basically the girl's father is like gathering bodies for her you know because obviously she's a vampire she needs blood and the father is like human so he's going to collect like he's going to kill someone to drain the blood to give to well you know his daughter so in the original in the original he's just standing there in the um, in the woods and he waits for some guy to come along and then like he knocks him out and then just drains his blood in there in, in like the woods in the remake it's a bit more elaborate like he breaks into someone's car he hides in the back seats and you know the guy the driver you know whoever owns the car gets into the car drives off for a little bit and then when I get to an isolated area by the train uh, these train tracks that's when he like jumps out and knocks him unconscious and then he drags him to the woods and drains the guy's body of blood so like the plot points are exactly the same what happens in each movie is ultimately the same but how we get to the plot points is kind of different and I'll say like the original did some some scenes uh, better than the remake but the, then the remake did one or two scenes a lot better than the original like for example in the original uh, the first kill scene I felt that was a lot better like it was pretty creepy I mean it was really simple as well all it was was just the guy standing in the woods and that scene was quite well shot as well I, I, I see I saw let the right one in a few months ago so I can't remember much about it well I do remember stuff about it but I you know let the the remake I can remember more stuff about the remake than the the original but I do remember a few things about the original like but you know I think that was a well shot scene and I thought it was pretty creepy as well because and it's really simple all it was was just the guy standing there in the woods and then he just waits for a victim you know some random guy to come along he asks he just asks him for the time and then like when he leans closer he knocks him unconscious but I, I just think that was kind of creepy how they did that yeah, I think that was a well shot scene and uh, while the remake it was a lot more elaborate like I said it it involves him like breaking into a car and then he waits for the owner of the car to come in and drive off for a little bit like it's a bit more elaborate in the remake but I think the original did a lot better job with it um, you know I just thought it was a lot creepier you know it's simpler but a lot creepier the way they did it so I, I thought that was a lot the first kill scene was a lot more effective in the first film I think uh, the one thing I will say about the original, I did think it, I felt as if it was a bit dry at, at, you know, some points in the movie, I just, not that I was bored by it, bored by it or anything, I just felt it was a bit dry, while the remake, it was like, you know, it just wasn't as dry, it wasn't, I just felt as if the, orig the original was a bit dry, even sometimes at some points in the movie, not that I got bored, like I said, yeah, I'm repeating myself here, but original just felt a bit dry at some times, the remake, I didn't really have that problem though. So, you know, whatever. Okay, next topic. What can I talk about? The bullies. Um, they did a good job with the bully, the bullies. Like, I guess they're the only villains in the film. The uh, the school bullies who are bullying the kid. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, like, I guess, um, you know, the vampire, the little girl vampire, she obviously isn't the villain. She's just, like, another character. But the bullies are, were well... Uh, well you, well, you know, their scenes were well done. They're like your, you know, they're your cliche, like, bullies, like, peer pressure, um, you know, the, like, the one, the, like, the leader of the pack, he's bullied by his older brother, so he kind of, you know, bullies others because of that. You know, it's, like, really cliche, like, that sort of stuff with the bullies, but their scenes are well done, and, like, I genuinely, genuinely, like, really wanted to see these guys die when I was watching, when I was watching the movie. I gen genuinely wanted to see the bullies die. Like I, I just couldn't wait to see them die. I'm not saying if they die. I'm not implying that they die in the movie because ob obviously I don't want to spoil the movie. But that they did a good job in making me want to see the bullies die. I will say that. Like these are characters you really, really hate. And uh, yeah, I will say the original handled the bullies a lot better than the remake, though. I don't know. Um, I, I just think the original did it a lot better. Can't really see. Uh, explain why maybe the actors just did a better job but I just felt as if it was a lot better in the original okay so uh, other scene uh, what other things can I talk about uh, see, like final, my final destination 5 review was like an hour long but I don't really have much to say about let the right one in or let me in like 
the kind of average, well, left to right one, uh, I'll explain that later. I I'm going off topic here. Okay, uh, just have a little look at my notes, okay. One thing I like about the remake is, you know how some films, they start off, like, halfway through the movie? Like, you know, they, they show you a scene happening, so, you know, stuff, some stuff is happening, and at the, when the scene ends, like, all of a sudden they say something like, um, three weeks earlier, or like a month earlier, it's, you know, it's all one day earlier, it says something like that, like Skyline did it, uh, and that was an awful movie, but, um, like, you know, movies that, are, they show you a scene, and it says something like, it flashes back and does like a five days earlier sort of thing, or weeks earlier, or months earlier, and then like, halfway through the movie, we get to the scene which they showed at the start of the movie, like, it's often some sort of action scene, that, I guess, to get the audience, like, interested, to wake them up or whatever, but, yeah, when movies do that, I, I really hate it, like, so far did it, but at least it had a purpose, because it was used as a narration trick, to, like, trick the audience into thinking it was a sequel, um, sorry, um, but like with the with like Skyline, it had no purpose whatsoever. Like why they started at the halfway point in the movie, I I don't have a clue. It had no purpose whatsoever. It was just like it was just there. I you know I just hate it when movies do that. But it kind of had a purpose. I get and let me in. They didn't do they didn't do this in the original, by the way. Let the right one in. They did do in the remake though. Let me in, uh, which I've obviously been saying. But so it starts off like in the, the hospital hospital scene. But I think it had a, I. In my opinion, I felt as if it actually served a purpose, like it actually um, kind of had an impact later on. Because uh, when you get to the, like, the first scene is like a, the hospital scene, then after that scene it says something like, um, I think two weeks earlier, I think. And then, you know, it shows the events leading up to that scene, and then like halfway through the movie we get to that scene, and then, the scene, and then after that scene the movie continues on as normal. But the... Like when we saw when we see the scene at the start of the movie and then like halfway through the movie, like they show the scene from like two different perspectives. Like if um they just show if they like edited together the both both perspectives of that scene and we were you know if they only showed both perspectives like halfway through the movie, like we would be cutting back and forth between both perspectives. So like while the action is going on, we keep cutting back to the like the cop trying to figure some stuff out. So like, and it's it's quite a dramatic moment as well, because like when we, um, you know, I'm trying not to give spoilers here, but it's quite it's quite a dramatic like scene, you know, like a climatic scene. Uh, so if they were cutting between both perspectives of the scene, it would kind of ruin the tension. So like. Show me at the start of the movie and then halfway the other perspective halfway through the movie. What's well, okay? I guess it kind of served the purpose because if they, like I said, if they showed us both kept, kept cutting back and uh, cutting back and uh, back and forth between both perspectives uh, while showing the scene, it would have ruined the tension and the suspense. But you know, by showing us one perspective of the scene, it kind of you know it kind of like got that out of the way. So when we saw the scene later on, they could just focus on the more dramatic uh, perspective. So it does. So it didn't really like ruin the tension or anything. Um, okay, what else? Uh, how? Okay, this is one thing which I really didn't like about the remake. Well, it didn't piss me off a lot. Like it didn't really. It didn't like drive me insane or nothing. But it was a little, like, uh, nitpick that I have. Um, it's like well CGI. That's the main. That's that's it. CGI. So in the first attack scene, like this, you know, this shouldn't be really. A, this isn't really a spoiler. Like, I guess spoiler. The uh, the vampire girl Abby, I think her name was, kills at least one person. I mean, it's a vampire film. Of course, of course she kills one person at some point in the movie. Uh, so in the scene where she kills someone for the first time, I did not. I, I the original the original film clearly did that better. Or at least, like I said, I haven't seen the original for like a month or two. But as far as my memory goes, there was no CGI in that scene. Like all she did was jump onto the guy's sh uh, shoulder and like take a bite out of his neck, and like that's all it was—just a girl clinging to some guy and like biting into his neck. But in the remake, they have like they're in a tunnel and like she jumps onto the guy, and then the camera kind of like zooms away from them, 
so we just see like this sil uh, silhouette of them, the two like fighting. But the thing is, in the remake, they kind of did like CGI enhancements. Like you can see, like they tried to make her uh, the girl's body seem more like unnatural, more a bit like you know, more like undead, like a more you know, just more unnatural and like not human like. Because like even uh, her, like what they did, like they made her like back. Her back kind of like twi started twisting, and her limbs started started to like you know just contort everywhere and shit when she was um, killing the guy. So like you know her back kind of just like kind of bent like to the point where it's like impossible for someone to do that. I guess you know just to make her seem more unnatural and more vampire like I guess. But the CGI just the CGI was pretty bad. So you know when I was just sitting there watching that scene, I was kind of just rolling my eyes at the CGI there. I didn't really uh, like that. So that's another point to the original. The original did that scene a hell of a lot better. Is it like all it was just a girl clinging to some guy's shoulder. Meanwhile, the uh, remake was a bit more action packed, I guess. Uh, more like spec, you know. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, it'll come to me. The vision wise, no. Okay, I can't think of it, whatever, but it was more spectacular, I guess. Um, it's more like eye candy. I can't think of that word, but it's more like eye candy because you get to see more action, but the CGI just killed it, that scene. So, um, yeah, you see, the first film, uh, first fi uh, the original, a lot more, f uh, all it was, a lot simpler, just a girl clinging onto some guy biting into his neck. A lot simpler, not as um, visual visually, there you go. Uh, not as visually interesting, I guess, but a hell of a lot more appealing and just a lot more effective because, well, the CGI was just bad. I hate CGI anyway, so what mo most people do, or at least mo most uh, movie buffs do, I guess. And another thing I noticed with the CGI, like, um, when Abby uh, drinks the blood in the remake, um, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure the original didn't do this, but in the remake, whenever she, like, drinks some blood, like, her eyes, like, her eyes kind of just they just look weird like they did some CGI enhancements like they you know they put some CGI onto her onto um, her eyes it just doesn't look it just doesn't look too good like you know trying to make her eyes trying to make her seem more natural again so after she's drank any blood at all her eyes kind of like they, they just go all weird and I didn't like that CGI was pretty bad in uh, that part uh, I didn't like that Okay, so another point to the original, I guess. This is just this is just more of a like comparison more than a uh, review. Like I, I, if I was like just reviewing the movies standalone, like I, I, I'm not quite sure what to say about them. Like I said, the original did handle the bullies really well. I really hated them, and I really wanted to see them die. You know, they did that well. The actors are fine. The remake is well shot. Um, not to say the original was well. The original is fine. Like in terms of how it's shot, it's fine, but I'm saying the remake did a lot. Uh, it it's it you know it's good. Like the remake doesn't copy shots from the original. Like it doesn't copy any shots, at least from my memory, it doesn't. But I know it's uh, it's shot a lot differently if I remember right, and I did like the way it was shot. So the remake was a well shot film. Not to say you know the first film, the original, yeah you know it was directed fine, but I'm saying the remake was shot well enough. For me to notice and like for me to you know for it to get my attention okay uh hold on uh yeah already mentioned that mentioned that mentioned that oh yeah that's cgi again going back to the cgi thing in both versions there's a scene involving fire um you know spoilers i'm not gonna try and spoil the scene but i'm just saying a scene involves fire in both versions the original, as far as I can remember, it was actual fire. Like, doing filming, they used real fire. They actually, like, you know, threw a match down or whatever to make fire. But in the remake, it's CGI fire, and it looks, like, really, really bad. Like, it, it is some pretty bad uh, CGI. You know, the fire, the fire, the fire did suck. In The fire scene did, was pretty bad in the remake. But special effects weren't too, uh, weren't too good in that scene. Um, one thing I will say about the remake, which I really, 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 really liked, was the second kill. 
Um, I'm trying not to go into, you know, I, I won't spoil the outcome of the scenes, but for those of you who have seen the original, you know in the original there's like the locker scene, I'm just going to call it that, the locker scene, the scene that takes place in a locker. It's when, um, for those of you who haven't seen the movie and you just happen to see the movie, you'll know what scene I'm talking about. It's the scene where the father goes to get the second victim. He's going to kill another person to get more blood for his daughter. So he goes to kill, you know, he's going, so this is the second victim that we see him go after. In the original, it takes place in a locker, in a locker room. So there's the scene. That scene was okay. I didn't really feel any suspense doing that scene or anything. I was just like watching it, you know, it's just the, it was a scene. I wasn't really bothered by that. It wasn't anything special. It didn't really catch my eye. It didn't really stick out my memory or anything. It's just the, you know, I didn't really find it too suspenseful. Like I said, going back to when I say some scenes felt a bit dry, I felt as if that scene was a bit dry. I, you know, that scene, whatever. But in the remake, like I said, plot points are the same. So the outcomes of scenes are the same. But how we get to these plot points is slightly different. So in the first scene, the guy goes to a locker room to claim his second victim in the original. In the remake, he does what he did, uh, did before. Like, he uh, breaks into someone's car yet again. But this time, something happens which kind of interferes with his plan. So he climbs into the backseat of the victim's car. You know, he breaks into it, climbs into the backseat, and he's waiting for the victim to get in. So the victim gets in. That's all I'm going to say. Um, something goes wrong for him. Something interferes with his plan to kill the victim. Uh, what happens? I'm not gonna, you know I'm not going to spoil it, but that scene was like really well done. Even though I saw the original and I knew where this scene was going, like I knew what, ultimately what would happen to all the characters in that scene. Because like I said, I seen the original, so the plot points are the same. So I knew what the outcome was going to be. Even though I knew what was going to happen in the end. I still found it found it to be a really really suspenseful scene, and you know, that's like saying quite a lot if you know how the scene's going to turn out. Like I was actually on the edge of my seat there, and that sequence where he tries to get to the sec tries tries to get a second victim. That sequence was uh, very well shot as well and edited. That was, that was just a fantastic scene. I gotta say that, and I loved that scene so much. Like it made me wish. That I, that I had seen the remake first, because I seen the, orig the original first. But that scene alone was so well done, it made me wish I had seen the remake before seeing the original. Because obviously if I had seen the remake first, I would not know what was going to happen. I wouldn't know like what was going to happen to the characters. Because ob obviously I seen the original, so I knew like where the scene was going. Uh, so, uh, like, but the, it was still suspenseful, even though I knew where the scene was going. It was still well done. So even if I f knew, you know, found this suspenseful, even though I knew where it was going, so that that's with me knowing where it was going. So e like, if I didn't know where it was going, I can't begin to imagine how much I would have loved that scene then. If I, you know, didn't know what was going to happen. So that was a great, great scene. Um, definitely tops the original. Like the original, a bit dry that scene, the locker room scene. Uh, they change it to the, uh, you know, the, the killer jumps into the car to try and get his get his victims in the remake. So. While the original scene was a bit dry, the remake scene definitely, definitely uh, tops the original one. That was that was a that was just a great scene. Okay, so uh, anything else? Because I can't really think of anything else to say. To be honest, you know, it's like just a few topics. Like I know it doesn't really feel right if I just say the acting was good, the story was good. Uh, you know, it, it was well shot. It doesn't really feel right if I say stuff like that. I just like, you know, I'm trying to find like certain scenes or topics to talk about the movie, like the CGI or whatever. I can't really think of um, anything. I will say this, I'm not quite sure if uh, the Swedish film was well acted or not. Because like, obviously I'm, you know, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not Swedish, obviously. I don't speak their language, so, so it's kind of like, I, I'm not, I don't know if they were good actors for the, for the original. Because obvious, you know, maybe they see they seemed okay to me from when I was watching it. They seemed okay, but if you know, obviously, if uh, I was Swedish, like I, I, I would be able to tell if they were good actors or not. Um, but yeah, but I'm Welsh, so whether or not they were good actors, I don't know. They seemed okay to me, but I don't know. Maybe if I was Swedish, maybe I, I would think they were. Uh, you know, maybe I, I would 
have a different view. But uh, one thing I will uh, briefly uh, just give my opinion on what is the ending. I did not like it. I think it ended like re really suddenly. It just end it like this film doesn't really have an end an ending by the way. Uh, feel free to disagree, but personally, I didn't think it really had an ending. Like you know, the plot is just going. The plot is moving on and on and on. Like they do resolve like a few plot um, you know plot lines. They do re resolve a few of them. But the basic like the basic story arc is just left open, and the movie just kind of just ends. You know the, the the plot, the story, it's moving along, it's moving along. Then the it just ends. So you know, if you've seen Skyline, you know what I'm talking about. You know how that movie had one of the worst endings I've ever seen. I I know it's supposed to be a cliffhanger and like leaving, you know, away, f you know, leaving it open for a sequel. But damn, that that ending sucked. But yeah, you know. That both versions end the same, the remake and the original. It just it just kinda of just ends and I didn't really like it. A bit too ab abrupt. I know my dad didn't like the ending either. And he only saw the re the remake. He didn't see the original. Yeah. So at least two people think that. Me and my dad. Um maybe there's other people. I haven't really read any reviews online, so I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, you know. Okay, uh nothing okay. I haven't really got anything else to say about the movie. Uh, ultimately, I did like the movie, uh, both versions. The original, I, I think, I, I was surprised. I did like the movie. I thought it was a great film. I wouldn't, ra I wouldn't rank it anywhere near one of my favorite films, of all, most fa you know, one of my favorite films of all time. But I did like it. I think it was a great movie. Definitely worth watching. You know, um, yeah, it's, it's, it was a fun movie. It entertained me, and it's just a good movie overall. Anyway, and. Uh, I, w I was surprised though because I went online and it's on IMDb's top 250 movies list, movie list, movie movies list. Okay, top 250 movies list. So I was kind of surprised when it's on there because like I didn't like it. I did like it, but I was surprised by how much praise it actually got when I saw it was on the top 250 movies list. I was surprised at that, but you know whatever. Everybody has their own taste. I just didn't think it was. I didn't think it was amazing. It was great though. Um, the the remake, uh, I like, it was it, it was I don't know, it, it was okay. The thing is, I it wasn't really to be honest, it wasn't worth being made, because the plot points, like I said, the plot points are exactly the same. Ultimately, in my opinion, the remake is pointless. It's the exact same. F well, kind of exact exactly the same. Like, it has the same plot points. How we get to these plot points is slightly different, like you know, scenes are set differently. But yeah, like at the end of the day, the remake is just—I just felt as if it was pointless. Like it, it didn't need to be made. Although I did get a kick out of the second kill scene, which I mentioned earlier, you know, the scene which I found really suspenseful. I did get a real kick out of that. I I really liked that scene, but. It is a kind of pointless film, to be honest. I like. I don't mean to be bashing it. I mean, like, what is everybody's like expectations for a remake? Do you expect it to be exactly the same? Like, hell no. Like, no remake should be like Funny Games, if you ask me, because that remake was shot by shot. I don't understand why that was even made. It's the exact same film. Like, let the let me in the remake of let the, oh, you know let me in. It's a. Uh, it had more of a point than Funny Games, because you know, the plot, how it got to the plot, plot points was slightly different and it was, you know, the sh it was shot a lot differently when compared to the first film, I think, if I remember right, you know, so, yeah, you know, the remake, it's kind of pointless, didn't really see the purpose of it, I guess, um, it's just for those guys who hate subtitled films, I think, or, you know, I guess, I guess it's just for those who can't stand reading subtitles. Uh, which version you should watch? I don't know. Like I prefer the original. Like I'm not quite sure because I said the original felt a bit dry sometimes, and I did enjoy the remake, despite a little one or two issues I didn't like. But the thing is, it's like I feel as if I should be given the original film a lot more credit because that came first. I just feel as if I should be given the original film a lot more credit because that film came first. You know, and the remake is just copying the first film. Like the remake is just copying the storyline to the original, so I don't feel as if I should be giving any credit to them. Like, for example, the Taxi Chainsaw Massacre remake, I, I did kind of like that, 
Like, I mean, don't get me wrong, the original is like a hundred times better, but at least that was worthy of being a remake. Like, I'm not saying whether or not, like, I did like the film, but I'm saying, like, it's, it was different f from the first film while staying to, uh, you know, its roots. Like, I, it was, it, you know, like they expand, you know, the family, you know, the, the family with Leatherface. While in the original, there's only like four, or no, three killers. Then in the remake, there's like a hundred of them. So, I, you know, like, and it just wasn't like the same plot points. It was different uh, when compared to the first film, you know. So that I feel as if that remake was different enough to be like, to be worth being made. But with this film, I'm not quite sure what to say. It's just, it's just a bit same, samey. So I feel as if I should be like, uh, I feel as if the remake shouldn't get as much credit as the original. Because it's just because they did, you know, the guys who did the remake did not make the story or anything. They're just copying the first film. Like, I'm not quite sure what everybody's ex expectations are when it comes to remakes. Like, how different do you expect them to be? Like, personally, Texas Chainsaw, Ma uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake, that was different enough to be worth existing. This, you know, in my opinion, remakes should be a lot more different than <clears throat> this uh, film did. But both films are ultimately the same thing. Whether or not you have, if you haven't seen them, you want to see them, and you're like trying to figure out which one you should watch, whatever, you know. Um, if you're the sort of person who can't stand subtitles, then whatever, just watch the American remake. Same films, pretty much. You know, you're not really missing out on anything. Pretty much the same film. Uh, you know, so watch the remake, I guess. Uh, if uh, you don't mind watching foreign films, watch the original. There you go. Uh, yeah. Actually, maybe for that one scene, maybe watch the the remake. You know that scene I said was really suspenseful. Maybe watch the remake first, just because of that. But try and bear in mind, there is an original film, and they're taking the storyline from that. So whatever. And that's so. That's my thoughts on let me, on the let the right let the right one in and let me in. And uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for the review. I was uh, one last thing. I did have fun watching uh, Let the Right One In for the first time because I hadn't heard about the movie. Well, I had heard about the movie beforehand. Well, I just heard the title. Like I heard it mentioned briefly, but I didn't know what the movie was about. I didn't know the story or the plot of the movie. So I was kind of I was just watching it and I was like trying to figure out where exactly this movie was going. You know, I was just sitting there watching, trying to predict what the story of this movie actually was because at first it shows the kid like the kids like he wants you know he's getting bullied in school and then when you see him wearing the mask and he's like in front of the mirror with a knife like practicing like his little speech on like you know trying to kill someone like I was thinking maybe this movie's just about him becoming a killer like this little kid uh, becoming a killer then all of a sudden it just cuts to the, the father all of, all of a sudden it just cuts to him like in the woods and he kills someone, so I'm just like, wait, where's this coming from? You know, I, I'm, I'm like, okay, so what has he got to do with anything? And I was thinking, oh, maybe the kid will get targeted by the father. Because I thought the father was just a serial killer. Obviously, when I first watched it, I didn't realize, like, he was uh, getting blood for his daughter. So I was thinking, oh, maybe he's just a serial killer. And, uh, you know, maybe he'll target the little boy, but the little boy will end up killing them, maybe, because he wants to be a killer. Or maybe, I, I was thinking, like, maybe they'll just team up and kill people together, because the, ki uh, the kid, you know, he clearly, he clearly, you know, wanted to be violent, I guess, you know, because he's been bullied by the bullies, so that kind of had the same effect on him. Like, he didn't really have anyone to pick on, but you could see when he's wearing that mask and with the knife, I was thinking, you know, maybe he's going to... Uh, start becoming a psychotic and become a killer and then team up with the serial killer somehow But then it just turned out to be a vampire film. I was a bit disinterested when I realized the girl was a vampire and the movie would not wouldn't be going the way I was I uh, Hoped they would I was kind of I wasn't bored like I was still interested But I was kind of hoping the movie went the way I originally imagined it would like as I was watching I was hoping the movie would go the way I uh, thought it was going but when it didn't, I was kind of like, you know, you know, I like, I, I think that, I think that movie, that would make a good movie, some little kid just teaming up with a serial killer somehow, you know. But whatever, there we go. I'm, I'm gonna mention. 
I'll, I'll say that a bit later actually. Uh, uh, next, let's play Batman Arkham City maybe. I don't know about that actually. Because I've heard the storyline. If you focus on the main story, it's supposed to be 20 hours long apparently. Or oh, that's what I've heard. So like, I don't really want to be doing a let's play which is going to last 20 hours. Like, yeah, again with Dead Island, they claimed, I've heard a bunch of people claim it la it, um, the main story, if you focused on the main story, it would last 20 hours. Then I did it in 10 hours. So I don't know. Maybe I'll do Arkham City, maybe I won't. Not quite sure on that. I haven't decided yet. Um, there's something I want to say, yeah, about Skyline, like, that's a re that was a really horrible movie, that was a bad, bad movie, like, I really, I really hated it, it was, like, really boring, I didn't do a review, a review on that, because, I don't know, when I actually stop and think about it, and think, like, what am I going to say, what would I say for the review, it's kind of like, I don't know, like, I, I, I would probably just end up saying stuff like, uh, the story, the story was awful, it was boring, the characters were douchebags, wanted to see them die, etc, etc. Special effects were okay though, but it's still an awful movie, with one of the worst endings I've ever seen. I really hated Skyline, but, you know, like, when I review, if I'm going to review a movie, I want, like, you know, spe specific topics I want to target, which, um, Sky for Skyline, Skyline, I really don't really have any specific things to talk about which happened in the movie aside from the ending i would i would rant about that ending for a good like five or ten minutes i guess but this i don't really have anything to discuss about skyline it's, it's a, you know at the end of the day it's just a bad movie everything about it was pretty much bad aside from the special effects but yeah that movie sucked so i didn't bother doing a review because no i don't really have any things to target about it okay so that's it I'm trying to, I'm thinking right now whether or not I should talk about one scene, do a spoiler thing. Okay, I'm gonna spoil, okay, leave the video now if you don't want the ending of Let the Right One In or, and Let Me In, both films. If you don't want the ending spoiled for Let Me In or the, re, or the original, leave now, okay, so just leave the video, I'm gonna spoil the ending. Yep, okay, so hopefully you've left the video, or maybe you just don't care about having the ending spoiled, whatever. Okay, so the, the film, I, I, cause I wanted to see these bodies die so much throughout the whole entire movie. And, you know, because they did, they did do a good job of making you hate these guys. Like, I really wanted to see them die. So, like, you know, when he get so when the bully gets his older brother to come in to, like, drown, and, you know, then he starts to drown the kid um, in the pool. But then, obviously, you know, the vampire girl comes to save him from drowning and kills all the bodies. I was really pissed off at that because... I, w I wanted to actually see the bullies die, like, see them die. Like, this isn't, you know, it's like, you know, it's not, this is nothing, this is nothing to do with, like, psychological horror or any of that bullshit, you know, where, it, like, what you don't see is more effective in terms of gore and shit. No, 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 whatever, you know, shut up. What I'm saying is just, like, I wanted to see the bullies die, because I really, really hated them, and, like, I wanted some sort of visual satisfaction of seeing them getting their heads ripped off and their arms severed and shit. But we didn't get any of that. Instead, it just like that's. I guess it was well shot. I I can't. It was kind of good in this in the way it was shot. But I kind of hated it in the sense that we didn't get to see the bullies die because I wanted the visual satisfaction of see, of seeing them getting their heads ripped off and whatever you know. Instead, all you hear is them screaming, and then that's it. I was just so disappointed that like, no, we didn't see them die. You know, I I wanted to see them die so much, and then you just don't see them die. They die, but you don't see them die. That sucked. I really, I, I was really disappointed about that. That's it. That's uh, all I got for let me, uh, let me in, and the original. Uh, so it, that was more of a, like a comparison, I guess, than a re review of the. Well, I guess it's kind of review of, of a review. Got to say, um, yeah, that's all I have. That's all I've got for the movies. So thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, so the next review is going to be the Human Centipede 2. Be looking forward to that one. See ya.